I'm walking in the garage and look what Juan's got planned. Who's that character? Hey, look, I'm wearing the same shirt. I only own three shirts. So let me set you down here. So today's video is the Fish USA monthly bait challenge where I pick five different baits that I think should catch a fish in that particular month. Tie them on some rods and try to catch a bass on every single one of those baits. So this is the month of September. Here are my five baits. We are at Clear Lake. This lake has been good to me at times and really poor to me at others. I have no clue if we're gonna be able to catch fish on these baits. Sometimes these fish are super finicky and they want something very specific and sometimes they'll eat anything you throw. So these are the five baits that we'll tie on for tomorrow morning. The first bait we have is a Ike's Flip Out Missile Jig. This is in the Brugill color. Not bluegill, brugill. I know Ike's a fan of uh, delicious IPAs and uh, that's why I picked this color. Open it up. Very natural color. Got a nice weed guard, nice stout hook, good jig head, nicely painted. So that is bait number one. We'll probably just put a rage chunk on there and uh, flip it around some grass. Bait number two. We're going old school with bait number two. This is the Arbogast Jitterbug. This is in the Cricket Frog color. You guys had a grandpa that fished. I'm sure you saw this bait in their box. Like I said, an oldie but a goodie. So that is bait number two. Bait number three is a bait that I have never thrown. Actually, I don't think I've thrown any of these baits. This bait is a chatter style bait, but it is the Strike King Thunder Cricket. I believe this is a half ounce in the green pumpkin color. Definitely a little bit different than what I'm used to throwing. Z-Man Custom Chatter Bait. The uh, blade is a lot different. It's got a different head. We'll see how that does. Bait number four, I had to go with a frog, and this frog is the Gavacho frog. First of all, it's a poppin' frog. I don't throw a whole lot of poppin' frogs. The shape is a lot different, and also the way it has these, uh, the skirt, that's totally different than what I'm used to seeing a frog with. Usually it's just got the two. This one's got the two plus a center skirt. Got a nice soft body. The hooks are actually pointed up. But yeah, that's bait number four, the Gavacho frog. And our last bait is a plastic. This is the Yum Bad Mama. So we will be uh, tossing this bad boy around on a uh, flipping hook and a one ounce weight. Always gotta smell your plastics. The nastier they smell, usually the better they fish. This one doesn't smell too bad, so we'll see how it does. Oh, that's the the Ike? Ike or the missile jig, yeah. That thing's pretty awesome looking. What is this? I like how the um, the hooks are kind of pointed that's up. That's what I was saying. And that thing, if you catch anything on that, it's probably gonna bend those hooks out. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> These are the baits we are going to try to catch a bass on tomorrow at Clear Lake. Gonna rig them up tonight and get up right and early tomorrow morning. Hopefully it goes to plan, but uh, one quick thing before we go into tomorrow morning's fishing. Well, like I said, we we're at Juan's place doing a little truck camping. Let's go give you a little tour of how I set up my truck camping deal. Last year tricked out my truck so that it is completely comfortable for a one or two night stay of truck camping. Now I am not super fancy with the truck camping deal, but it definitely works for one or two nights. The biggest thing that you can't see right now is the inverter that was installed and that's in the bed of the truck. That inverter actually allows me to plug higher voltage electronics such as coffee maker, anything really into a power strip, which is under my seat. Back there you can see battery meter for for the truck battery and then the uh, external battery. Right now I've got it running, got it charging my phone and uh, attached to a couple other electronics. This USB is for the phone and then we have another USB right here. It is California, so it gets toasty at night. This is a nice little USB fan that also runs on battery, but we'll just keep it with the USB so it always runs and I can just turn it that way. And that actually keeps me pretty cool. You know, as long as that's running right on me, keeps me nice and cool. This is the kitchen right here. We've got uh, some chips, some apricots, and uh, this is kind of like my go-to. If I don't want to bring a cooler with me, this is kind of my go-to, you know, like one and a half, two day meal situation. Just get some wraps. We got some salami. We got some baby bell cheese. We got some mustard. Just rip that uh, cheese up throw some salami slices on those wraps we've got a few plates over here and that's a pretty quick and easy dinner here we have the console we can keep a few extra things in here headlamp some cliff bars uh, backup meal but that flips right up this is the bed situation seats back we tuck the seat belts in a few pillows a sheet and i can pretty much lay across this whole deal maybe a little bit of a bend in my knees totally works for sleeping in the front seat we've got some uh, some shades in the back which i'll set up later but i can black out this entire truck every single window with these 
custom fit shades for the Ram 1500. Give you a little extra privacy. Um, I, uh, you know, I typically don't truck camp in public places, so I don't know. I might just put one or two on tonight just to give me a little extra darkness to sleep. There's not too much else to go over. Obviously, right there is our tackle trunk. There's the coffee maker down there. Kayaks, of course, in the bed of the truck. But uh, that is a tour of my truck camping setup. Super simple. It works for a night or two. Maybe we'll upgrade to uh, maybe a Sprinter van or something. A little bit more fancy next year. But for now, this works. So like I said, tomorrow morning is the Fish USA Bait Challenge. We got our five baits rigged up. Clear Lake, it's been wishy-washy for me. Hopefully tomorrow's a good day and they're biting and we can complete the challenge. And I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. First thing in the morning, I feel like it's gonna be our best chance of getting the uh, top water bite. So we'll start with the jitterbug. Try to get our top water out of the way. I know, I know. Setting the hook too fast. I'm sorry. I got excited, I got scared, okay? Are you serious? Um, okay, that's a first. I don't think we will be completing the challenge on the jitterbug. Um, yeah, cancel the jitterbug. Go with a gavacho frog next. See what it's all about. like crazy. This is the thunder cricket, but God, just need to get a bite, get some confidence. Well, that's a problem. lost the uh, thunder cricket. I have no clue how that just broke off. I was just trying to get the grass off the bait. Done that a million times. Well folks, that's not a good start at all. I didn't buy any backups of the baits and uh, we are down to three baits left. Epic fail, epic fail. So it's 7.30 and uh, I've lost two of the baits already. In the weirdest ways to lose baits. Frustrating, frustrating for sure. We've got three baits left. We've got the uh, jig. Got the punch bait, and then we've got the gavacho frog, which I've been throwing for like an hour and haven't had a single blow up on. I don't know what to do, guys. I'm here at Clear Lake, and I'll be honest with you, this is just my true thoughts. I don't fish for a living. I work, and then I fish, and uh, you know, that's precious time to me. I want to fish, and I want to catch fish. Today's just not working out. These other three baits, I'll throw them a little bit. When the conditions look right, I'll punch some mats, I'll throw the frog, throw the jig here and there, but uh, I'm going to tie on my Z-Man custom chatter bait and uh, just start wrecking these fish, because that's, that's what I know they they want today. September Fish USA bait challenge, definitely the worst one yet. Epic fail. Let's go catch some fish. This is the bait that yesterday was getting smashed. Black and blue Z-Man custom chatterbait. My favorite chatterbait of all time, I'm not gonna lie. So that's what we're gonna be throwing. We didn't get the Fish USA skunk because we just caught one on the Yo Mama punching. Little guy, but it counts. 
Jeez, took enough time. I do actually like the looks of this little bait. It has a punching bait, nice compact. It's got a good color to it. Fish are probably chilling in, in these grass mats. Chatter took long enough. Good gracious. I don't know. It's been a tough day. Tough day for sure, but that's a nice fat one. This is not the Thunder Cricket, of course, but it is a chatterbait, so I'd like to think I would have gotten bit on the Thunder Cricket. Same thing though as they were doing yesterday on the outside grass line. Slow rolling the chatterbait around them. To another area found another grass line another nice defined grass line first couple of casts and we get this big boy it's a promising sign got a good feeling Just a matter of finding the right grass, and they're setting up on it. So that's big fish of the day. Get him in the boat. Get in here. Look how fat that one is. It's a nice one. It still amazes me how hard these fish fight. There's a solid one right there. guys we were just about to call it a day just decided to fish this little patch of grass next to the ramp and got big fish of the day it's a nice one tell you what one positive thing out of this challenge video for this month is i do really like this yo mama as a punching bait and i'll tell you why when we get back to the, the truck this is a good bait for sure nice four pounder Boom. Big fish of the trip. We were rewarded. It's a lesson right there. Always make a couple of casts right, right next to the ramp before you head in. And sometimes that'll happen. Beauty. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for the September Fish USA Bait Challenge. Obviously, <laughs> Today didn't go as planned. Lost two of the baits right off the bat. Got a little frustrated today. Just after losing the baits and not really getting bit on anything else, it was just one of those days where I just wanted to catch fish. I do enjoy making these Fish USA bait challenge videos, but today was a day that I just wanted to get some bites and I really wasn't feeling it on the frog or that jig. And that, nothing against those baits, those are good baits, but I just, you know, I've already, already kind of patterned these fish from yesterday. I knew I had to fish outside grass with a chatter bait, slow rolling it. And even though we threw the frog and the jig in those areas, just wasn't happening. I will say one positive thing that came out of this day, other than, you know, catching a few good fish and especially a good one at the end, was I did find that the Yo Mama bait is 
probably gonna be a staple or at least one of the baits I'll have in my arsenal for punching. And the reason I like this bait is because it's actually got a thicker head right here as compared to like a Rage Menace or even like a Rage Bug. It's a little bit thicker top. And the reason I like that is because it seems to be more streamlined with a one ounce tungsten weight. Got my two odd trocar flipping hook, Texas rigged it like so, bury it in there. Two bobber stops, one ounce tungsten weight, and it's just real nice and streamlined. You don't have as much of a difference in width between the weight and the bait, so you're not you know, picking up as much grass or little hang ups like you may get with a smaller profile bait. Now these work, like the Rage Menace, I actually like this better with a half ounce because the half ounce is closer to the size or diameter of that Rage Menace, but for bigger weights, like the one ounce, that seems to be near perfect size and it got bites today. Again, that's kind of the point of these challenge videos, at least for myself, is to find potentially new baits that uh, I can use. And today, even though it was pretty much an epic fail, we did find a bait that uh, I'll probably be ordering more of. So leave a comment below for the month of October, a specific bait off of the Fish USA website that you want to see me try to fish and catch a fish off of. I will link Fish USA in the description below. So find a bait that uh, you guys want me to try for the month of October for the Fish USA challenge. And uh, the bait with most likes, I'll uh, make sure that one's in the order. And uh, hopefully October is a better month for the challenge video. But as always, thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you later.